Sorry, turn that down. Hey Rubies, welcome back to More Than Rubies with your girl Tia Moore. I am she, the Tia Moore sis. We are back with another renovation video. It's like, that's all I've been doing for the last few weeks. That's okay, I absolutely love it. Today we are at my mom's house and I am refreshing her master bedroom. Now, I'll insert a little clip of what it used to look like. Now, mind you, she got rid of some of the furniture so that I could uh, start this process. So yes, I just wanted to pop in to let you know what we're doing today. You know, I gotta go ahead and introduce myself to all the newbie rubies. If this is your first time here, want to welcome you to the More Than Rubies family. Feel free to take a look around on the channel. Check out our past videos. Um, on this channel, you're going to get pretty much everything under the sun. That is the S-O-N. We come from a biblical perspective around here. Because if you ain't living for Jesus, <laughs> then you ain't living. Right? Anyway. Uh, so yes, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it that already. Also, make sure you click that notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified each and every time we upload, y'all. Sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. Baby, it is hot in here. And I'm sorry if the lighting is not all that it needs to be. I'm not at my house, so I don't have extra lighting. This is raw. This is real. This is real life, so... This is how we're gonna do it. Anyway, back to the intros. If you are a returning Ruby, hey girl, hey, welcome back sis. Get ready for this renovation, I'm so excited. It's gonna look so good, so good. Anyway, also make sure you are following us on our socials, Instagram, Facebook, and the Tickety Talk. We're also there. Um, you can also follow us on our ministry page at immore.net. There we have a weekly blog that will bless your life. It'll speak life into you for the week. And if you subscribe, you'll get that weekly. So you'll get that weekly motivation and encouragement. We also have a prayer team. We have some free resources. We also have an opportunity for you to partner with us. We're looking for board members, volunteers, project managers, all the things. If you have a business that aligns with our vision, we can definitely partner together. Um, so yes, stick around for this renovation. It's going to be good. Again, on this one, I'm not going to be talking that much. I may pop in here and there, but I'm about to put this hair up and we about to get started. Okay. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out okay y'all we're gonna start this off by letting some light in this room I hate these dark curtains I've hated them since she put them up Y'all thought I saw a spider up there, so <laughs> that was my hesitation. Look at all this light that this room allows. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep right here, I'm going in and adding curtains to her closet. It is a walk in closet, the door is small but she hates that accordion door and honestly, so do I. So I'm adding curtains here and then that other door with the picture and the belts on it, that is her master bathroom, which she does not use at all. Um, so I am going to add curtains to this door as well. How it goes and I save the details that actually need something. Welcome to friends are nearby. Don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady, cause I'm 
As you can see, adding these curtains took a little minute. Um, I really needed a drill, but all I had was a hammer. So I am trying to make sure I get these nails in the walls correctly so they don't fall down. And plus, my mom is a stickler for having things even. So I'm just trying to make sure I do it to the best of my ability. So yeah. So my, my style of decorating is working in zones. So I put those curtains up and I hung this large picture here thinking I was going to move the bed over to this wall. But y'all, this room took me out. I tried my best and I do mean my best to change the room around. But ultimately the bed ended up back on the wall. As you'll see, I spared you some of the footage of me trying to change the room around. Um, but I also gave you a little bit so you can see. The room is fairly large. It looks really narrow um, in the video, but it's a big room. But uh, because my mom was having hip surgery, she needed to have a chair as well as an ottoman in the room. And we picked up the ottoman on I'm sorry, the chair and the ottoman on Facebook Marketplace, and it is huge, which she wanted a big chair, but we didn't know the ottoman was going to be <laughs> that big. Anyway, so I tried a few ways to make it work, but ultimately, like I said, the bed ended up on the wall. So now you, you saw that picture up on the opposite wall between the curtains, but we will be moving that back over the bed. So... 
yeah Step over splinters of me. Yo, at this point, I was feeling defeated because I couldn't change the room around and I was hot. It was so hot that day. So now guys that I have the layout and the position of the furniture where it needs to be, I needed a break. I needed to sit down and put this furniture together. Now this was so funny to me because I am not a builder. Normally when I have furniture that needs to be put together, my husband and my son do it for me. But your girl was so low dolo today, so I had to handle my business. Now I will say the assembly of these three tables was super easy. The instructions were very easy to follow. And overall it took probably about, I'd say 45 minutes. And that is 45 minutes because I didn't know what I was doing. But as you can see, I'm fanning myself and still have the fan over there in the corner. It was hot.
Okay, now y'all, we are in the home stretch. We're into the fun part, getting to actually put some of the decor pieces out. Uh, the bed, I am saving until last. I bought a duvet cover and it was my first time. And y'all, I had to YouTube how to easily put the daggone duvet cover on, but I finally got it and you will be able to see it in the reveal. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that notification bell. Also, if you are new here, please go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Let me know that you are here and where you're tuning in from. I always think it's cool to see how many people these videos reach around the world. I am in Ohio and this the video was done early, oh, I'm sorry, at the end of August, and again, your girl was hot. Again, I'm a little disappointed that I had to keep the bed in the same spot, but I think everything turned out beautifully. Um, this makeover was done on a very small, tight budget because, again, my mom was having surgery and needed it done ASAP. So we shopped at Burlington, Amazon, Dollar Tree and I even shopped my house for some of these items so some of these things may look familiar because I brought them over um, but I absolutely love it the pillows 
actually came from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar General, not Dollar Tree, um, but yes, she is in love with her new space. Y'all have no idea what happened to the light, but it's crazy when you look back on videos that you've recorded. Look at all this these dust particles y'all see. Anyway, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed my mother's master bedroom makeover. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. The mirror came from Amazon and anything else you're interested in just leave me a note and I will be glad to share that with you and until next time talk to you later rubies bye